The first real trailer for the final season of Game of Thrones is finally here, and season 8 promises to be nothing short of epic. We went through the trailer frame by frame to figure out what's going on. Now we won't really find out until the season returns to HBO on Sunday, April 14th. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because GameSpot of Thrones is returning very soon. We'll be doing weekly breakdowns following each episode of the final season. The trailer opens with Arya Stark beaten and exhausted in what looks to be Winterfell. Her face is bloodied and she's running for her life. She says, I know death. He's got many faces. I look forward to seeing this one. During Arya's few lines of dialogue, we cut to the crypts of Winterfell, and very briefly we see people huddled together, looking up, including Varys. It seems as though there's a battle happening in the city. We're assuming the White Walkers have reached the city during their battle with Jon and Danny's armies. Yes, it looks like Arya gets her hands on a dragonglass dagger. As we learned in previous seasons, dragonglass is one of the two things, the other being Valerian steel, that can kill the Night King and White Walkers, which is why Jon Snow went to Dragonstone to form an alliance with Daenerys. There's a lot of dragonglass there. However, seeing Arya running through Winterfell in the previous shot leads us to believe that the war between the living and the dead does not go very well. House Greyjoy's fleet is setting sail, Euron Greyjoy is currently in command, and at the end of Season 7, Euron headed to Essos to bring the might of the Golden Company to Westeros to assure Cersei's stay on the Iron Throne. The one thing that the Game of Thrones fans at GameSpot can't stop asking is, who is this guy? We debated that it could be Jaime Lannister, but you can briefly see a right hand in the shot, so it's not him. We also debated that it could be Jorah, but that didn't click either. We also spent way too much time trying to research the character's sword, which we couldn't find anywhere. So who is this person? Is it Euron in fancy armor? Probably not. More than likely, this character is from the Golden Company heading back across the Narrow Sea, someone we haven't met yet. He's got a pretty rad sword, though. Speaking of swords... Everything you did brought you where you are now. Where you belong. That's Bran Stark's voice as we see Bronn, Tormund, and Beric with his awesome flaming sword exit a building. There's then a quick shot of Bran talking to Samwell. It's a nice quick shot to remind people that these characters are still alive and kicking. Also, there is a sweet flaming sword. Back at King's Landing, Cersei is still awful. Sure, she's not doing anything horrific here, but she's probably thinking about it. The Mountain is still guarding her, even though he took a quick break recently to kill the Bud Knight. And next to her is the Hand of the Queen, Kyburn. Daenerys and Jon, the lovers who are also on to Nephew, ride off to war with Danny's personal army, the Unsullied. There are two major battles that will happen during the final season, the battle for the White Walkers in the north and the battle for the throne at King's Landing. We briefly see Sansa Stark at Winterfell as Daenerys' two dragons, Drogon and Rhaegal, fly overhead. If you remember from Season 7, the third dragon Viserion died and was resurrected by the Night King, and he was used to destroy the Wall. From what we can make out, a man is engaged in battle. Then, very quickly, there's a shot of Jaime screaming, who parted ways with Cersei at the end of Season 7. We're led to believe that this is at King's Landing. It's not. However, after you watch the entire trailer, it seems more than likely that the battle is happening at Winterfell because of what Jaime says. I promise to fight for the living. I intend to keep that promise. We believe Jaime will head to Winterfell to fight the White Walkers. It's the moment you've been waiting for. Jon and Daenerys are going to ride dragons together. We're not sure exactly where in the Season 8 timeline this could take place, but it may be for the battle at King's Landing for the Iron Throne. There are a few shots of the army, which includes the Unsullied, Jorah, Brienne, and Podrick. They're ready for battle, standing outside of Winterfell. The final shot of this trailer is two horse legs entering the shot. The camera focuses on them to reveal the rotted away flesh and bones. This is the Night King's horse, and boy oh boy, I can't be more excited to see how this turns out. That's it for this breakdown. Let us know what you thought of the trailer and any predictions you have for the coming season. Remember, the action starts April 14th on HBO.